everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great and for those who are new here welcome my name is hannah i make videos about my life diaries as a heart patient and of course music and for those who are new here thank you so much for dropping by and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel go ahead click that subscription button below it's just for free for today's video, it's all about reading your comments of my previous video about intramuscular injection of how I did it myself uh, with vitamin B12. And if you haven't watched it, I put the link above or somewhere below here and at the end of the video so you know and you can understand what I'm talking about. Or you can skip this video and watch that video first and you come back later. Which of these two? It's 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 fine. So um, we go over to your comments and we will tackle your um, suggestion about it and yes, uh, and about everything about intramuscular injection. And for those who watch my video, my previous video, thank you so much that you only don't watch the video, but you participate, you give your comment, your professional advice, and of course your yeah, experience about the intramuscular injection and stuff. So for that, thank you, thank you so much. But before we go over to your comment, I just wanna say that I have an experience with intramuscular injection because I perform it myself um, once a week uh, at, at this very moment. And I've been injecting myself for almost three years. Um, I undergo training, of course, so I know what I'm doing, and um, yeah, and the most important is I I have experience with that matter. Two things to consider before you perform intramuscular injection yourself. Um, one thing is that you have the proper knowledge that you know you only not Google in the computer about this matter, but you have the advice and you have the guidance from the nurses or family family doctor um you have the guidance from the nurses and your family doctor if if possible um in my case i undergo training for three days for this before i perform before i perform it myself um second is that you have the right materials before you you perform of course you make sure that you have the right materials um, that you need in performing intramuscular injection. So what I mean for the right materials is that you have the uh, syringe, uh, you have the needles that you use for taking out the liquid from uh, from this um, bottle. What I mean is that these needles that I'm using, I use 40 millimeter needles to take the liquid outside the ampoule and to inject myself, I use, to make it clear to you guys, I use 25 millimeter like this. And of course the yellow container will is the right disposal for your needles and glasses. So. so shout out to Bren. Bren wrote this in Dutch and she said, hey, uh, mag ik een tip geven? Uh, okay, so what she's mean all about that she gave me a tip for what uh, the right needles that I have to use and also the way that um, I have to look out for the bubbles in the um, injections and also when the moment I perform the injection itself into my buttocks that um, I need to pull it back she said that before okay so this is you inject the needles to your buttocks and you have to pull it back. The reason is that, that you need to pull it back because you need to see if there is a blood coming out. And if there's a blood coming out, that means that you hit a nerve and that is a big no-no. So what you have to do is you take it out, you change the needles and you make your, and you make sure that you are in the right, um, right uh, area. So again, you put the, and again, you inject the needles into your buttocks, you pull it out, you, you pull it out, and this time when you see that there is no uh, blood coming out in the syringe, 
I just want to say something about that you are right and thank you so much for your comment and of course for your tip which is very helpful because me alone it's 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 not enough so we need the advice from the profession professional and we don't uh, we don't want to mislead people here and this is very important because this is about your health and this is about your body the moment i make the video maybe i was not clear enough with the video that i pull it back and it's it's not clear for for you guys and for that i'm very sorry but what she means is that when the moment you inject um, in that area you pull it back to make sure that there is no blood that you hit that you don't hit hit any nerves for it she also said something about the needles so i will go uh, next to brandon for na uh, brandon for narrow i hope i say it uh, right and brandon a uh, shout out for you and i read all over here and it is really quite interesting there is 13 replies under what brandon said he said that Hi, you have to dart the needles and otherwise muscle damage and more acute ache painful. Going slow injection as you did is only good with the insulin needles for 29G and on. I also recommended for vitamin B12 to use insulin needles instead of 25G. Um, yes, Brandon, thank you so much. And for your advice, shout out for you and I really try the insulin needles as what you advise. Shout out for you, Brandon, for uh, giving me this tip and for your information. I really did try from my curiosity because, as you said, um, it will damage uh, it will damage our muscles if you inject a lot of it. Um, I mean, many times if you perform it, it will damage. So I tried the smaller needles, the insulin needles, and man, it's painful. I don't know why. It's just my experience that. I prefer the needles that I use. It's it's it's, it's um, I agree with you though, but I try it and I I think I was just used with uh, the feeling from the from the needles that I use that is twenty five millimeter. So uh, thank you for that and um, I did try your advice, but I prefer to go on with uh, twenty five millimeter. Okay and. We are here, 13 replies under Brandon Forono, and what he said also, Texas made gamer. Hello, shout out to you, and thank you so much of also for watching my videos and for your, your replies. Um, he or she said, you no, you don't need to dart, stop it. You gotta be careful that you don't hit anything. Yes, you're right, yes, you're right. We have to be careful. Uh, not hitting anything but what i think brandon brandon means is that the dark positions that we use in um in a nursing term that the dark position because the way that you inject your intramuscular injection to your part of your body in in this case my buttocks is that you have to do it for 90 degree and to do it for 90 degree you have to do the dark position but it doesn't mean a dark position that you have to do it like a dart no it's um in my case i don't i use the dart position but i don't perform it just like hitting the 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 dart game so i i don't think he mean like that um you have to of course that the way i'm slowing it to show you how to do it but maybe of course that i'm still not used it's not an excuse but i'm still not used of performing intramuscular injection myself i am a heart patient for a long time and i've been dealing with needles for a long time and believe me if you ask me it's still painful and still i am not comfortable with it and every time i perform it i'm still thinking like dear i have to go all over with this so um it's not an excuse but it's a reality that i am still even though i'm showing it for you i'm still not comfortable with it so i recommend that if you're interesting about uh, intramuscular injections and the suggestion and the change of conversation it's very interesting so if you have time you can go to uh, the comment sections of my of my video and you can see itself and you can also add your suggestion about it and julian here hi julian shout out to you um she said that i guess best practice guidelines depend on where you live though because uh, i can read all of this but it took a lot of time for us uh, i just go tackle about um the the highlights for this 
Well, I can only tell about my experience and I can also use a large needles with this, but um, in my experience, it's very painful, especially if you perform intramuscular injection two times a week. So that was my first year of um, with the intramuscular injection. So oh, we go over with the 25 millimeter and it works. So I think it's depend of your body type. So number one, it depends on your body type. It's uh, um, you have to work together with the nurses, what works for you, what best for you, because we have different kinds of, we have, we are all different. We are not the same body types. So if the, if, if the, these needles, for example, these needles work for me for 25 millimeter and I see the results. So I go, I just continue with it because it works for me. And if I go with the bigger needles, I know it's also work, but then I have to suffer um, a lot of damage uh, tissue if I go over with bigger needles so I will damage a lot of tissue in my um, in my buttocks which I don't want it because it's it doesn't nice it doesn't feel good and it's also nice to see so to summarize everything um, it's very important that you have the proper guidance uh, with the professional before you perform intramuscular injection uh, second that you have the right materials uh, using it you understand what you're doing and about the needles itself it's really depend uh, what needles suit you and it's not because this is what the it is not what because I don't in my own experience I don't really think that oh this is what's stated here this is what you do no we are we have different body types what works for you does it not does not work for me so you have to understand your body type and what kind of needles um, works for you the best. Muhammad Suar asked, um, thanks, great video, alcohol is necessary? Yes, it is, it is necessary because you need to disinfect the area where you inject and also your hands if you don't have a gloves because we don't want to have an infection. So, um, according to Mustafa Sirzad, did you feel so much pain? not so much pain it is acceptable but what i said even though i've been performing intramuscular for a long time still still i'm not comfortable with it and i am not proud oh yes i'm doing it no i use it because it's, it, it is necessary and is it very painful it's not very painful the pain is acceptable but all go all the way you get used to it you get used to it i think in my case i am 50 50 for it so so that's it. Um, thank you so much for uh, spending your time with me and go over with the comments and about intramuscular injection. And if you still have and if you and if you want to add something about it, please free to comment below and I would really happy to um, to give you a reply for it. So thank you so much to all of you who watch my video, to all of you who give your comment and your professional advice. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And it's just the more advice and the more professional help we can give, the better than one person doing the video. So thank you so much. And I wish you all guys the best health that you can, that you don't need to perform vitamin B12 because it's, it's a little bit painful so if you do good luck and i wish you the best health so once again thank you so much for watching my video and if you like this video and if you think this is helpful please give a like it will help the algorithm of my channel believe me it will help a lot so thank you guys take care and i see you next time bye